My tree story is about a ponderosa pines that I planted and over 200 trees of different varieties. I purchased uh, 17 acres of land outside the Wisconsin Dells. And it had uh, tillable land, but it also had a lot of trees. And I wanted to kind of make a forest, you know, especially around where my trailer was. So I joined the Arbor Society. And every time you spent your uh, membership fee, they would send you 10 trees or shrubberies, whatever you picked. So I picked 10 trees and I planted them and they were, they, some of them survived, some of them didn't. So then I decided, well, I would like ponderosa pines. Didn't, ponderosa pines are not really susceptible to Wisconsin, I find out later, you know. So I bought these, I got 10 ponderosa pines from the Arbor Society. They came, they were little twigs about this time and I, I planted 10 of them, four, three, three. And um, one of them died. But the other ones are still alive. I planted them in 2006, and the front three grew up pretty good. The middle three are kind of suffering, and the back three, they grew tall, but they got no pines on them. I mean, no needles on them, hardly. I gotta cut them down. They're just little circles. The other ones are bigger. I also bought over 200 trees from the uh, Salt County uh, environmental thing, and they, they had a special deal on them. So, I went about and planting 200 trees in one or two days is just staying near impossible. So my cousin came over to help me and I think we have a survival rate of about 25 out of the 200 that I planted. But I had big aspirations, but now I think you've got to do more research and you got to know how to plant your trees. That's what I learned because I think I made many mistakes, especially on the water.